Well, hello there. I am in the shop working a little late on a weeknight. The phones have stopped ringing. Everybody's gone home. And I'm working on my little red rocket. This is my 1970 unsynchronized N600. It's a Honda N600. And I like this little car. I've been driving it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Although recently, I've noticed that it's had a high RPM miss somewhere near red line. It seems like the red line has actually been lowering. So it used to be 8,000 now. It went down to 7,000 now. It's about 6,000 and it's actually been bumping like around five. So it's a little difficult to diagnose some of those things sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I found a typical problem, which was mice were eating my air filter and they clogged up a few things, but that didn't take care of the problem. So kept diagnosing things, found a dirt in the carburetor a little bit and started looking at the ignition system. And that's the point of my video here today. So what I have here, I have this cool little tool. I'm going to pull it off here for you. This here, if I can undo it in one hand, is an ignition. Basically, it's a coil tester. If you look at this little glass sight on here, focus in on that. There's a, a metal pin on this side and a metal pin on this side, and this is a threaded tip. You could screw this in and out, and you could adjust the gap of the spark. So the Honda 600s came with a what's called a double pole coil right here, it's bolted underneath the, what would be the radiator core support, and it came with old-fashioned points and a condenser, which are right in there. And the ignition system was rated, I measured mine at about 15,000 volts, which is that first mark right there, the first one. That's how far I could make the spark jump. Then today's day and world, that's not a lot. Most electronic ignition systems in today's cars, uh, 80,000 volts are not unheard of. Um, so I wanted to increase my voltage. I think it might help it rev, uh, also be more efficient, get better mileage, the whole bit. So uh, what I did is I tried a few things. I tried some new points, tried some new spark plugs. I got it up to about 20,000 volts, which is pretty good, which is that second mark right there. What I'm going to show you now is I just installed an MSD box, which is an MSD 6A. It's a very common MSD product. Well, it's their base meat and potatoes product is their box. It's a capacitive discharge box. It takes the trigger, which is basically your points, which is right in there, and amplifies them in that box tremendously. But you've got to have a coil that can handle it. So I put on a aftermarket two-prong coil or two-tower coil that's rated, I think, at 60,000 volts, something like that. It's a modern coil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car up. I want to show you without getting shocked how much voltage this thing has now. It's pretty freaking amazing, I have to say. So I'm going to start the car, and we're going to come back here, and we can look at this little window here, and we'll be able to see the spark jump across there. Okay? So I'm just going to go in here and turn the key on. You can hear it arcing. Across 40,000 volts, 35, 40,000 volts, straight and easy. Oh, I cut it down. It's, uh, it has a lot of fun. Right off. I have a tailpipe tube on the, the exhaust pipe to run it out the door of the shop, and that fell off and it scared me, so I'm sorry if I, I jumped the camera. But anyhow, I just wanted to show everybody I'm expecting a little performance gain with this 37 horsepower engine and some new spark. Not only does the MSD offer more spark, below 3000 RPM it offers multiple sparks, so it actually shoots the spark plug more than once. Keeps them clean, makes it more efficient. So I'm excited to see what happens here and how well she runs. Modding, modifying the little N600 can't help or hurt to have a little bit more zip in the spark department. So there you go, the tip and trick for the day. Crazy, crazy old Hondas. 
they're two cylinder, and of course MSD will never ever tell you that that'll work on a two cylinder. So you have to just use it as a four cylinder setting. Seems to work fine. Uh, and now the points will never ever burn because they're just simply used as a trigger. There's no current going through them, which is really really nice. I really wanted to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going on here rambling, but I really wanted to design an electronic ignition and that may come someday down the line. But for now, this is what we got. Our little N600. It's an unsynchronized early car with the early carburetor and unsynchronized transmission. And uh, maybe I'll do some 0 to 60 test runs with the new ignition and see if it improved anything. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there. And I hope my miss is gone. <laughs>